How's it going shoppers? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at my YouTube income. We're also gonna be seeing if it's worth it to become a gig YouTuber. And I'm gonna be giving you guys a lot of good information if you guys are interested in becoming a gig tuber at all. This is gold because this is exactly what I would have wanted to see back when I was starting my channel a little over a year ago. So let's get straight into my YouTube analytics and take a look at our monthly income. And of course I will be showing my total income but we're gonna leave that for a little bit later. I have a feeling half of you guys are just gonna skip straight to that point. But for those who are actually interested in learning, let's get into the analytics. All right, so right off the bat, you guys could see that this month we made about $533, which for YouTube and how much time we put into it isn't that substantial. On average, I would say I work about 35 hours per month on YouTube. I make about 10 videos per month and all of them take me anywhere between three to three and a half hours to make. So that's where I get that number. So just to come up with a really quick hourly rate, say we're at $530, we worked right around 35 hours. We made about $15 per hour, which isn't the greatest. I could probably make more money doing gig work, but doing this type of work instead, I get to be in my relaxing chair in my home with my dog and my wife. To me, it is much more enjoyable work, which is why I think it's still worth it. And also there's just a lot more potential. You guys could take this all the way up to 100K per year. If you guys look at some of the bigger gig tubers, they are making a lot more, a full-time living just from YouTube. So there is definitely potential for more which is why I keep at it. And just for example, you guys could probably find Nug's old video on this where he goes over his YouTube income. It was good. It was a hefty amount there. All right, so while we're here, we might as well take a look at some of my highest paying videos. So let's go ahead and find one of my most viewed videos and see how much it paid. So YouTube actually has this tab right here that's really cool. You can see my highest paying videos right here. So some things that'll make these vary will be the watch time, so if it's an eight minute long video, you guys have more mid rolls. So you guys make more per video usually. And um, let's see if this is an eight minute long video. Yeah, this is a 14 minute long video. And I use Tatvar in my thumbnail. I'm sorry, man. But it made $224 just this video. That is probably more than I made that day doing Instacart itself, which is just insane. Just this video alone. Let's see how much it's making like just last week. It made me $4 last week and this was a video I made several several months ago. This is a, a more recent video and we've already made $157 basically. That is like a solid day's worth of work right there, but we made it all in one video. This was a more researched video versus kind of like a thrown together ride along. So I definitely see the potential here, but if you guys look there, it's only a five minute long video. So no mid rolls and we still made a good amount of money. And that's just because we got so many views on this. It's at 14,000 views and for my channel, that's pretty good. And to go back to the Tatvar video, that was about 14,000 views as well. And you can see just how much more money we made from having a longer video. Now let's take a look at just say like an average video for my channel. Let's see how much we would make from that. So this is something I posted, I think about a week ago now. If we go to the analytics, we are at about $24, which isn't too bad. I'll take that for one video. And obviously this is fairly new, so this is gonna keep climbing and gaining a little bit more income. And then YouTube decided to start paying us for YouTube shorts. So in this video, I got paid 38 cents for this YouTube short for about 5.7 thousand views. That is so low, it is absurd. If those views were to be on say like a normal ride along type video, you could expect easily $70 from that video but we got 38 cents. And then right here, you guys could kind of see like a month by month breakdown for the past six months. Right before Christmas, there's usually a pretty big surge in how many views you're getting and how much money you're making online. But then after that, say January, February, these are really slow months for YouTube, for Amazon. A lot of the side hustles I do in those months just tank. But back in the beginning, back when I had the long hair, we were making like $750 per month because we had a really solid push to a thousand subscribers. I hope you guys are learning from this. I feel so weird actually sharing this online. Hopefully uh, I don't get into any trouble for this. I think it'll be helpful for you guys. So a few things to note, when you guys are making a gig tube channel, you guys are making a YouTube channel and one of the best Best niches possible. A niche is like a category. So there's gaming, there's comedy, finance, and gig work fits into finance pretty well, which just so happens to be one of the highest paying niches. So here's a reason why being in this niche is important. If you guys look right here, my RPM for this channel is almost $12, which is pretty crazy. That is about how much money I make per thousand views, which is extremely high for YouTube. For example, gaming might only be two to $3 versus this is $12 
$5 per thousand views, which is why you can have a pretty small channel like mine and make a decent amount of money. So another thing to keep in mind is when you guys are choosing your niche, you guys wanna make sure that there's enough traffic there for you to actually grow. So for example, I'm using a keyword explorer tool. So DoorDash has 10 million monthly searches about. And if you guys search up Instacart, we have about half the monthly searches. But there's also less YouTubers making videos on Instacart versus all of the DoorDash YouTubers. There's about like a million of them, but these are all things to keep in mind. All right, so enough clickbait. Here you guys have it. This is how much money I've made from my YouTube channel in the past 365 days. Of course, I will pay taxes on this. That's gonna take a pretty nice penny out, but we do have some solid tax deductions that will help us out with that. So yeah, $7,153. And keep in mind about half of this time I was uploading every other day, which was requiring much more work. And then a side note, we also make some money through affiliate links like Amazon. And then we also have sponsorships. So I can't really disclose all of that information, but we do make a good amount of money there too that we add on to this every year. And personally, I just really enjoy this. I think it's like the ultimate side quest. So just some things to keep in mind. If you guys want to start your own channel that you guys will probably be putting all of the work in for several months to make no money. It takes several months to actually get monetized on YouTube. And if you don't know what you're doing quite yet with editing programs or learning how to upload on YouTube, it's gonna take some time to research and learn. And then it takes even more time to gain your audience, to grow your channel, to even get monetized. So you guys have to be in it for the long haul and eventually it'll probably pay off. But you guys always have to keep learning, you have to keep pushing and trying new things. There are basically only four things that you guys need to make a gig channel. First of all, a computer to edit things on. Most of you guys probably already have something like that. Then you guys need a camera. That could be an old phone because I would not suggest recording on the phone you're working on because that just gets confusing. Or you guys need to buy a cheap GoPro. And I will have an Amazon affiliate link in the description down below for a GoPro. If you guys buy one, it'll help me a little bit and it won't cost you guys any extra. Also, you guys will need an editing program like DaVinci Resolve, which is free. And there are a ton of tutorials online that will help teach you how to use it. Then you guys will need some photo editor for thumbnails, I would suggest either Canva or GIMP. Those are both free programs and they'll get the job done. And then all you guys have to do is just start posting consistently and eventually you should get monetized and it should start to pay off. So I know this might not be extremely impressive, especially for a year's worth of work, but it's been really nice to stay in my house and work from home, be with family. And also this is paying me even when I take breaks. So if I go on a vacation, we're still making some YouTube money and I think that is awesome. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know this was a different type of video for my channel, but I think it could be really helpful for you guys. I really appreciate you guys for sticking around and supporting me on this channel. Obviously, creating a channel like this, you have to have viewers to actually make the money. So you guys have been amazing. You guys have helped me out a bunch, and I'm really excited to see what we could do in the future. Anyways, that is it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.